Hello, this is Golden Glory and today we are doing something a little bit different. As you can see, we're not in Minecraft, this is real life, because today we're doing something special for the glorious annual upload. In a week's time, I will be leaving for uni to study music at Oxford, so in the spirit of being a broke uni student, I am sharing to all you other broke uni students the best fried rice on the planet. All it requires is some day old rice, an egg and soy sauce, but you can elevate it to godhood with some relatively simple additions and I will be demonstrating today my favourite chicken fried rice. It is quick, cheap and damn tasty so sit back, relax and enjoy the annual video. Now as you see me preparing some peppers in the background, it's important to stress two things. Firstly, that the entire first half of this video is completely optional and you do not need all these extra ingredients to make a good fried rice. Secondly, the rice you use must be ideally a day old or if you don't have the time, it must be at least refrigerated for a few hours. This is to ensure your rice doesn't clump while cooking. After the peppers, I prepare some aromatics that I will add in with the chicken for a punch of flavour. If you're weak and have a low spice tolerance, while I will be highly disappointed in you, you can simply omit the chilli at this stage in the recipe. Onto the chicken. Here I switch chopping boards because Golden Glory is not a fan of salmonella. I begin by butterflying the chicken so it's thinner and then bash it with my knife to make it thinner still. This is so it will cook faster and more evenly. Alternatively, you can cling film wrap the chicken and bash it with a rolling pin or heavy implement if your knife is not sufficiently heavy to beat your meat. After this, simply cube your chicken into small pieces like so. After all that, we're finally onto the first essential part of an egg fried rice, the titular egg. You can crack it straight into the wok to save washing up an extra dish, but I find stirring the yolk and white together makes for a nicer egg texture when cooking. Now that the prep work is done, we're switching cameras so you can see the cooking process. This incredibly scuffed, low quality GoPro overhead setup nearly fell into my wok while I was test recording, so it was risky, but at least this view will let you see my incredible chef skills at the wok. I start by heating the wok with a high smoke point vegetable oil and adding the chicken. I spread it out to maximise contact with the pan and let it sit still for 2.5 minutes to sear. Don't forget to season your chicken with salt and pepper generously and white pepper if you have any. I'm a massive proponent of doing this on both sides but I'm incredibly disappointed in myself for forgetting to do it this time. This is good practice for being a disappointment when I inevitably become a broke musician. After two and a half minutes, I flip the chicken and let the other side cook. You should see a golden brown crust indicating that the Maillard reaction has taken place. That's where the good flavour comes from. If you have one, use a meat thermometer to check you're not giving yourself salmonella. Again, Golden Glory is not a fan of that. I'm looking for a nice 155 degree Fahrenheit as it will continue cooking as I turn off the heat. Once done, I add my peppers, garlic and chilli, along with optional oyster sauce if you have it for a richer unami flavour, along with a dash of soy. Now remember, this entire part of the dish is completely optional and not needed, as the actual egg fried rice is what I'll be doing next. If you have only one wok, then deposit the chicken onto a plate and clean your wok, but since I have two, I'll leave it to the side. I am now moving on to the actual egg fried rice. I start by heating vegetable oil in the pan until it smokes, then add the egg. I let it cook slightly before flipping and scrambling it. I then quickly add the rice so it doesn't overcook, and from there you simply got to aggressively bash, scrape and smash your rice egg mixture till it homogenises. A useful tip is to press the rice down into the wok and let it burn just slightly for a better texture and flavour. Now on to the essential ingredient, light soy sauce. This is crucial to the flavour of the dish, so we measure from the heart. No need for teaspoons or tablespoons, just a hearty glug. When you add this, make a well in the rice and let the soy sauce burn slightly on the bottom of the wok before mixing it in for an extra depth of flavour. The following ingredients are all entirely optional but build upon the basic flavour. 
Firstly, I add some white pepper and a small dash of sesame oil to the rice. And after mixing, I add a dash of dark soy sauce to give the rice a golden brown colour. The final ingredient for the best fried rice that separates the amateur from the authentic is the king of Asian cuisine, MSG. Uncle Roger would be proud. This bad boy, monosodium glutamate, gives your fried rice an extra punch of unami that transcends its flavour to the realm of gods. A meal fitting for my loyal subscribers. From here, if you did prepare the chicken and vegetables, simply mix them into your fried rice and incorporate all those lovely flavours. Then BAM! You've got yourself a fried rice, golden glory style. So plate it up into your bowl, and if you're a uni student, you have no excuse not to do your washing up immediately. One, because there aren't that many utensils used, and two, the fried rice retains heat incredibly well, so you can take a few minutes to wash. Do your flatmates a favour. And once you're ready, get your fork and dig in to your delectable, heaven-sent feast. And that, my loyal subscribers, is my gift to you this year. Only the best for Golden Glories fans. And with that, I'd like to leave you, knowing you'll be in safe hands and not starving at uni. So until next year, I'll see you later. Goodbye!